people of Earth. Prepare to bow down before our invincible irony and sarcasm. Surrender your pizza or face the unstoppable onslaught of our trenchant wit. Nah, just kidding. We come in peace. Speak for yourself. This next show is The Lawndale Files, and it's a frightful tale of suspicion and paranoia. So if, like me, your biggest regret is being born too late for the Nixon years, here's the next best thing. Enjoy. For tomorrow, you become our slaves. Oh boy, here they come. Here they come. Oh, 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 oh. Blackie, how are you today? Fine, Dr. B. Did you see that tennis match yesterday? Serena was on fire. Those Williams girls are amazing because they had a father who saw they had a talent, guided them, and bam, they never looked back. Nothing like parental support. Did I mention that my son will be running cross country this year? <sighs> Actually, Arthur, you did tell me that. See, the coach only picked... Seven boys for preseason workouts, and your son was one of them. And not only that, Roy was... <sighs> The youngest one chosen. By a year. And do you know that they run two, three miles right through this park every... Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, have I mentioned this before? Only every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I don't want to sound like some misguided old fogey here, but do you like that rap stuff? Not at all. Because if you ask me, someone should add a C before the R-A-P. Well, I better get going. I don't want Norm and Catherine to leave before they can give me a kiss. Who, who are they going to miss? No, give me a kiss. Why are they this? No, I said give me a kiss. They were like brothers. <laughs> <laughs> And here's my pajamas, and some more pajamas, and some more pajamas. Sweetie, you're only staying over two nights. You know the Bluebird motto. Always carry extra pajamas? No, Daddy. Be ready for anything. So, I brought some fish food in case they ran out, some scotch tape in case anything rips, and some peanut butter. Uh, Catherine, it seems you're taking a lot of things you don't need. A picture of you. But then again, you never know when there'll be a peanut butter shortage. All right, Arthur, now don't laugh. Mommy, you look great. I'm still happy that Miss Cummings got uh... appendicitis. And I'm sure she's thrilled about it, too. Does her troop leader's dress look all right on me? Let's just say that I would follow you anywhere, ma'am. Uh, have fun this weekend, Catherine. Great. Look, Mom. <laughs> I look goofy, don't I? No, no. I, look, you look great. Uh, anyone can see that. <laughs> What's so funny? Are you kidding? It's that, that... That... That joke I just heard on the radio. Oh, that was a good one. You look tight, Mom. For real. See? Now, kiss your sister. If you're talking about Angie, we just studied the Constitution. And that is cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> yeah, for me. Have a good time. There's our bus, Catherine. Ready? Yes, ma'am. Hmm? I'll have a hot bath ready for you when you get back. Thanks, Daddy. Mommy, Bluebird's March, remember? Oh, yeah, right. A Bluebird is loyal, honest, and true. A, a Bluebird, Bluebird always knows, knows the right, the right thing, thing to, to do. do. A Bluebird never, ever tells lies. Oh, see how high the Bluebird flies. Whoa, did Mom have to wear that outfit, or did she lose a bet? She looked like a crossing guard in a really scary movie. That's enough, you two. You shouldn't make jokes at your mother's expense. Come on, Dad. She did look a little goofy. A little. Did you tell her that? I told her she looked fine. Naughty Daddy. Remember, bluebirds never lie. That really wasn't a lie. See, when it comes to people you love, sometimes it's safe to tell them a different version of the truth. Got it. Well, I have to get to school. Later, Dad.
Roy, don't forget your cross-country stuff. You have a workout today, right? All oh, right, yeah. Thanks, Dad. Later. Roy, if we win that contest, who knows, man? We could be as big as Outkast or, or even the Neptunes. We could probably start our own clothing line. All the top rock dudes are doing it now. You really think we could do that? Of course, Larry. All we got to do is buy some cheap threads, stick our names on it, and multiply the price by 100. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, if your dad finds out you've been back in cross country to work on our song, you'll be multiplying the year you're grounded by a 1,000. Thanks for the uplifting thought. I do what I can. So you and Justin got into a little disagreement. What's the big deal? The big deal is I saw him talking with Christy Perlman. Oh. Well, maybe Justin was lending her one of his books. Or maybe he was giving her a new bra to replace the one she never wears. Yeah. I mean, no. Baby rag doll, anyone can do it if you're short or tall. So bust out of that cocoon and be a butterfly, y'all. Yo, I see you looking at me, well you don't have to act. Now put your wings in motion, you're looking good, that's a fact. From the window to the wall, all the way to the floor. Now nah, don't be scared, go show me some more. When you do that right, girl, y'all, I can't even lie. Come on, put that cocoon and be a butterfly. Justin said he and Chrissy are just lab partners in Mr. Hall's class. See, you got all worked up over nothing. Nothing? Everybody knows when Christy Perlman's around, you gotta watch your bag, your boyfriend, and your back. back. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that your brother's bike? He's supposed to be at cross-country practice, running around with a bunch of other losers. That cocoon and be a butterfly, y'all. You're doing that thing like a baby rap doll. Anyone Somebody is jamming so for real. That cocoon and be a butterfly, y'all. Yo, I see you looking at me. Well, you don't have to act. Now put your wings in motion. You're looking good. That's a fact. From the window to the wall, all the way to the floor. Now don't be scared. Go show me some more. When you do that right there, y'all, I can't even lie. Come out with that cocoon and be a butterfly. Ah, cool it. Cool it. And do the butterfly, y'all. You're doing that thing like a baby rag doll. Listen to me. Listen to me. Yo, if you're short or tall, so beside of that cocoon and be a butterfly, y'all. Roy! Roy, and be a butterfly, y'all. You looking. Hey, that doesn't work. What are you doing? Just messing around. You were cracking. See, Roy, we can win that contest. The one from 97.3? What are you talking about? Angie, where have you been? Whoever has the tightest wrap under two minutes wins backstage passes for the G Crunk concert. The G Crunk? They've only been promoting it every minute. My pastor's even entering. Yeah, but your pastor's not missing cross country practice, is he? Aw, oh, come on, Angie. Don't tell Dad. Please, I'll do anything. Anything? Sorry I'm tardy, Your Highness, but it's almost impossible to find a chariot in the rain, even up here. Please forgive me. Uh, oh, all right. Thou art forgiven. But mess up one more time and you're going down. Down? Down. Here you are, me princessa. Just as you ordered. One pint of almond mocha fudge ice cream, one glass of your favorite soda, and the newest issue of Girlfriend magazine. Can I get you anything else? That'll be all for now. Yes, my queen. If you need anything, just ring. My queen? I want it diet. Ah! Ooh, this could be fun. Do you see Roy? No, no sign of him. 
I feel you feel it's right to spy on your son while he's at practice? I'm not spying. I'm just making sure he's uh, progressing. All I see is a young man kicking a soccer ball. Over there, a young lady is reading under a tree. And over there, a young man and a young woman are... Oh, my. Can you focus? Believe me, I'm trying. That's them. I bet Roy's running so fast, he probably lapped them. Where is that boy? I don't see him. Excuse me. Oh, hey, Dr. Bendel, babe. A have you seen Roy? No, but he did tell me about your dad. My dad? Oh. Yeah, is he all right? Roy said he fell and broke his ankle. Why would Roy tell you that? Because Roy's been taking care of him all week. That's why he hasn't been at practice, right? Oh, uh, something tells me you didn't know about this? You know, Dr. B, you should keep in touch with your father. Anyone can do it if you're short or tall. So beside of the cocoon and do the butterfly, y'all. Yeah. Don't bet on it. Hey, Daddy. Have you seen your brother? Sure, the short kid with a chest like a bird and head shaped like a squash. Do you know he's been skipping cross-country workouts all week? You know about that? Yes, I do. Darn. What do you mean, darn? I meant darn. Why would Roy do something like that? Boy, you're really going for that Oscar, huh? Here's your ice cream and diet soda. Hey. What about my girlfriend magazine? I ran out of money. But please, don't say anything to Dad. FYI, he's upstairs. And remember, Roy, crying doesn't make you any less of a man. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Hello, son. How was cross-country today? Oof, rough. You wouldn't believe it. I think you might be right about that. How many laps did you run? A lot. Five, ten? About oh, twenty. Ooh, when I jump in that shower, the soap's gonna scream for mercy. Twenty laps, that's a lot. Especially since you were running so fast that no one could see you. Huh? Or maybe no one saw you at practice today because you were off helping your poor grandfather with his broken ankle. Okay, <laughs> you know, we'll probably, uh, we'll probably laugh about this when we're older. I wouldn't count on it because older is something you may not become. Now, where were you? Okay, I didn't go to work us because, see, Larry and I, we were working on the song. A what? 97.3 is giving a prize to whoever comes up with the best rap song. You lied to me so you could write a rap song? Dad, I didn't actually lie. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, come on, Dad. This morning, you said you were going to workouts. No, I said I was taking my gear for workouts. I didn't say I was actually going. It was like what you did with Mom, just a different version of the truth. Not good enough, Roy. See, I knew you act that way. That's why I didn't tell you about it to begin with. Yo, what are you saying, that I made you lie? Kinda, yeah. Because you don't like rap music. Ah, you're right, I don't. Because first of all, it's not even music. It's just a bunch of hoodlums making noise. You can't understand a word of that foolishness, except for the bad words, which all of those people are so fond of these days. Back when I was your age. Yeah, Dad, I know. Marvin Gaye, Al Green. Ah, now that was music, kid. So was rap. Check it out. <laughs> That cocoon and be a butterfly, y'all. You're doing that thing like a baby rat, y'all. Anyone can do it if you're short or tall. So, beside of that cocoon and be a butterfly, y'all. Son, that stuff's not going to get you anywhere. Does everything have to get me somewhere? Can't I do something just because it's fun? Yes, cross country. That's fun. Then why do they call them workouts instead of fun out? Your mother and I have made it very clear how we feel about lying, true? Yes, sir. Good. So you can forget about going to any rap contest tomorrow. But Dad! That's the way it's gonna be. 
Tomorrow, you can help me deliver a bunch of our used clothing to your grandfather for his church sale. Dad, that's not fair. Hey, hey, it's the least you can do. I mean, with his broken ankle and all. Hey, Dad. Well, hello, Arthur. How's my favorite grandson? Living a dream, Grandpa, living a dream. Where do you want this stuff? How about in the trunk of my car? <laughs> hey, but don't go driving away on me now. I wish. What's bugging him? He's being punished because he skipped cross-country practice to write some rap song. That stuff is junk. Exactly. Can't understand a word they're saying. Exactly. It's worse than that rubbish you fooled with when you were his age. Exactly. What rubbish? Oh, come on, Arthur. Remember how you spent hours up in your room? Righteous! <laughs> Do it to me, Artie. Arthur? Arthur! What was that? Oh, I was just, you know, just grooving. Grooving? Would you mind speaking English? Jamming. Dad, I was, I was, I was jamming. Playing music? You call that music? Boy, music is... <sighs> I know, Dad. <laughs> Billy Eckstein, Louis Armstrong, Billy Holiday. Exactly, and messing around with that foolishness isn't going to get you anywhere. <laughs> well, do you? Huh? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. It's pretty stupid, huh? Okay, Grandpa, everything's in your car. Why, thank you there, Tupac. So, how does it go again? What? That song you wrote about the butterfly. Yeah, uh, let's just forget it. No, I'm curious. What were the words again? Well, out of that cocoon and be a butterfly, y'all. You're doing that thing. Your? Huh? You are, you are, you are doing that thing, uh, thing. Okay, Dad, whatever. I mean, would it kill you to use proper English? No, I guess not. Uh, just asking. Uh, we home? Not quite. Pause. Fine. He asked me to give you this. What took you so long up there? We made the stuff on the way home. Look what I got. G Crunk tickets? Where did you get these? The 97.3 contest. Thank you very much. You guys won? No, but they did come in second. Yeah, some reverend. If you ask me, they were robbed. We didn't get backstage passes, but guess who's going to see G Crunk next Saturday night? You're on a short leash, remember? But that. And that leash doesn't stretch to G Crunk. Oh, jeez. Here you go. Me? Roy? I'm going to pretend that that never happened. Good, me too. And you have time for a workout before dinner. I figure six laps should work up your appetite. I'll cook. You're cooking? I better make that 16. coming from, Mommy? I'm not sure. I'd say 1970. Arthur! We're home! <laughs> well, someone's happy to see us. Hey, you're back. Daddy! What was that music? Oh, I, 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 was, I was upstairs watching a documentary on uh, uh, Woodstock. Mm. <laughs> And that was your weekend? Oh, delightful. Now we get to go over to Kayla's house for closing ceremonies and cake. Where are the kids? Angie's at Skies and Roy's in the park, running. So, your weekend was good? Yeah, groovy. I mean, fine. Uh, we'll be back in an hour or so. Let's go, Catherine. March, Mommy, march. Oh, uh, have that bath ready.
Yes, Ange, I'll be right down. Don't move. We're just getting started. Hi, Angie.